party party. Needs a we need to find Nathan and take him down. And what is the point of this party? Energy that? drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Kicking Nathan's ass. Luke, I just wish I someone didn't would see kick Nathan. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? No big deal. Really? You look pretty fucking intense. Is Nathan bothering you? Oh wait, I did see Nathan today, nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. For helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. up to protect me from another humiliating moment. Thank you, Max. I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Somebody has the booze. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but... I really need to find Nathan. Have you... No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub. And his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Brooke, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Okay? DJ, what the fuck? Oh my god! DJ, 
Yes, you! is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. It's okay. Yes, Nathan but can he do totally this? <laughs> okay. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. The Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> the boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. I think Should I warn her? Very powerful. But we'll see. Victoria, your picture so has to win. Yeah, that would be wicked. Uh, did you- Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Oh, uh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you wanna hang with Nathan? Why? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Why don't you ever want to see me, Max? You're so cute, and we never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field, I could show you some moves, give you a touchdown. Logan, don't make me hurt you. Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. Here's something. I'm trying not to. Oh, I get it. Real? Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but... 
That's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were Avedon-esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. But I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all Everyday Heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! 
Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Thank you, Victoria. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. You fucking cares. Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Creepy out here. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. Come on, come on. Nathan needs to die now. Jesus, be quiet, okay? We have to be invisible. Chloe, come over here, quick. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Look out! What the fuck? <laughs> 